the Nintendo Switch 2 will dominate from day one. It will make the original launch of the Switch look mid, as I believe the kids of today say, and there are many variables that contribute to this hypothesis of mine that hopefully I can back up. Firstly, let's start with some good old facts. Fact 1. Nintendo has already said publicly that they are confident they will meet supply and demand. They are aware of the business of sculpting, which for those of you who are unaware, is the rude act of buying a large volume of a hot item and later selling it for two or even three times the original price. This happened with the original Nintendo Switch and especially the PlayStation 5. This tactic works because when enough scalpers buy up all the consoles and then there is literally none in store, but Christmas is around the corner and you promised little Timmy you would get the latest shiny thing, a desperate parent will go online and buy the system from a reseller for two or three times the price. Reseller is the polite term to replace a see you next Tuesday a popular word we use in Australia, and I know my Aussies already know what word I am talking about. This is what these people are who take advantage of others. So what is Nintendo's answer to this? Well, Switch 2 will easily be a hot item that everyone will want, and Nintendo's answer is simple yet effective. Meet, supply and demand. They will be producing more of the hardware compared to any other release video game console in the history of the company. One way they are able to manage this is the fact that we are way, way, way overdue for Nintendo's next console. The Switch has aged like milk you forgot to put back in the fridge from last week. And so Nintendo has had a lot of time to plan for this. A delayed console has countless advantages. With the passage of time, parts and hardware become cheaper. What does that mean to you and I? It means that Nintendo can afford to make a more powerful system today compared to if they released the Switch a couple years ago. Nintendo always, well, since the Wii era anyway, goes for cheaper and aged parts. They want to make a profit on each unit sold, and you can't do that with the latest tech. The good news here is since the Switch graphically is so behind everyone else, that it will not cost the company much to give us a much more powerful upgrade, and still not need to be as powerful as say the PlayStation 5. Now super duper quickly, friendly reminder that here at Gaming My Whole Life, I strongly believe that video games are about escapism and not activism. So if you feel the same way, Send a message by subscribing and empowering voices like mine. God bless and let's continue with the Nintendo magic. Why else do I think the Nintendo Switch 2 will be huge from day one? It's simple really. No one expected the Switch to be such a success. The Wii U, even though I loved it, it was a financial failure for many different reasons. And so third party developers were not keen to jump on straight away with the Switch. It's different this time. Nintendo will be coming off the success of literally the most successful video game console of all time. They also don't need to explain the benefits of the Switch 2. If it is a portable hybrid like the first system was, it will send the message clear. I still remember how impressed me and my wife were when we first got the Switch and experienced how easy it was to go from playing on the big TV to going into portable mode. Not only was it as seamless as the commercials made it out to be, but it was even faster. People love the concept and don't need to be sold on the benefits once again. A more powerful version of what is already loved is all that is needed here. But wait, there is more to discuss. The Switch 2 will be a success day one, not just because supply and demand will be met and it will also be more powerful. No, 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 no. What I believe will really skyrocket Nintendo is what they do best, and that of course is the games. You know, the reason we buy video game consoles to begin with? With the delay of the Switch, Nintendo will be able to avoid a problem every other console manufacturer faces at launch. Can they have a must-have game ready day one? Normally consoles launch with barely anything, and you only start to see some good stuff 6 to 12 months later at the earliest. But what if you were already delayed? 
What if Mario Kart 8 launched in 2014 and it's already been 10 years since? That's um, that's a bit of time, somewhere between the whole decade to work on a Mario Kart 9. Would be a real shame if Super Mario Kart 9 was a launch title. I'm not saying this will definitely happen, but whatever Nintendo has planned for the launch, they have not been rushed here. They are not trying to recover from the sinking ship which was the Wii U. No, 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 my friend. Nintendo has been able to take their sweet time and plan like they are Batman or something. If Nintendo is going to beat Sculpers and invest all that extra money in making sure lots of units are available around the world, they are smart enough to know that they need some must-have games ready. Heck, even a graphically improved version of Zelda Breath of the Wild would be enough to convince people to jump on board. But most importantly, Nintendo is not alone this time. Publishers sort of notice the success of the Switch. I guarantee countless publishers and developers are working on their Switch 2 ports as we speak. As you read this, thousands of people are working on their games because they all expect the Switch 2 to be a huge success and want to jump on early this time. Something else you may have forgotten is the Nintendo Switch Online service, right? So we already got Nintendo, Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, Super Nintendo games, Sega games, and Nintendo 64 games. Currently, there is a massive library of games, and Nintendo has already confirmed previously that all of this will carry over to the next console. So what is the easiest way for Nintendo to convince users of the Switch to take on the Nintendo Switch subscription online service again for the Switch 2? Well, what if they added 3DS games or GameCube support? That would make it a no-brainer to continue and carry on with the service. Nintendo also still has something that both Microsoft and Sony lost a long time ago, and that is loyalty. Nintendo currently has 69 games that ha they have released on the Switch that have all passed the one mark. 69 different games from Nintendo all passed the million marks. I tried to count these estimates and my head exploded, but if we add all of the Nintendo games total sales on the Switch that are Nintendo owned and released, it comes to about 600 million software sales. That's a bit hard to wrap your head around, so let's pretend a single game got 600 million copies sold to simplify things, right? Their strategy of making the best games possible, bug free, only one version of the darn game, with no microtransactions and no political messaging, means fans literally buy everything they release. Their games almost never go on sale as well, which means those numbers are at full price for the most part. We are not talking about Steam bargain summer bin sales at 95% off here, we're talking about full sales. The reason why I highlight the above is to illustrate that Nintendo has no reason to change their current strategy. It's clearly working. And frankly, let's bring all that together, right? Nintendo will have more consoles ready at launch than ever before. If the Switch 2 is a portable hybrid like we suspect, people won't need convincing to buy it. Graphics will easily be much more powerful with the bar set so low and even a PlayStation 4 Pro level Switch would allow for breathtaking worlds like we have never seen before from Nintendo and frankly, the Switch 2 is likely even more powerful than that. Third parties will not want to miss out this time and they will jump on board much faster this time around. The delayed console means Nintendo will have their must-have games ready for launch as well. The expanded Nintendo Switch Online service bringing either 3DS or GameCube games will act as a filler. Nintendo will finally be able to break their own curse and release two successful consoles in a row. I think we can expect very big things from Nintendo. I think the Switch 2 will be a gigantic success because Nintendo is at their prime right now. They are really knowing what they are doing. They've released so many games on the Nintendo Switch and all they need to do is keep doing what they're doing. They have a winning formula. They don't need to experiment with different gimmicks. Maybe people would like this, maybe people would like that. For the first time ever in their history, they just need a more powerful version of what they had before. Keep the games coming and I think everyone is going to be on board. 
I'm very excited. You've been listening to George from Gaming My Whole Life. Fingers crossed that the next Zelda game Nintendo releases looks as good or even better than Ghost of Tsushima that I am currently enjoying. And that's just a PlayStation 4 game, man. I can only imagine what magic Nintendo will rip out with the Switch 2. God bless you all. Take care. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.